Well, lots of people are asking me to make a video about how the ice cream truck started. Well, here's a few pics of the van when we bought it. Got it in Northern California, took it all the way home, and then uh, started making videos. And of course, thanks to GoPro, all the videos that we made building it were corrupted on one of the SD cards. So we had to do it in pictures instead. So here it is. So the freezer came in. It's a cold plate freezer by uh, C. Nelson, somewhere in Ohio, I think. And we installed it, took all the plastic wrap off, basically bolted it to the floor, got it ready. And then uh, once that was done, we started working on the window, the serving window, what I consider the most important part of the whole project. So we made it with uh, some galvanil, cut out the hole in the door. Looked pretty strange with no window in it. And we waited for uh, the galvanil to get welded up. And it fit like a dream with a little shelf on the bottom. Meanwhile, I was doing the graphics, uh, set the graphics in to get those done, and then started working on the actual pieces that go in the window. I made one out of polycarbonate for COVID, of course, and I made one with uh, some cutting board material that worked out really well. And I had to figure out the latches, how to hold it in there. Wanted it to be secure going down the road. And it sure is. But uh, once that was done, then we had to start on making the interior soundproof. I didn't want to hear that music all day long. Well, you do anyway. But So we put a kill mat, a sound deadener on the whole van. And what a difference that made. Boy, that thing makes it super quiet going down the road and then I bought a, uh, a kit what was plastic uh, wall for the inside of the van to make it better looking and we installed those I thought that came out fantastic looks really good and ooh, a nice sunset here in Oregon can't buy that in stores and then I started to install the Dynamax uh, waterproof siren speakers that came off of a police car. Bought them off of eBay. But boy, they really project the sound. And, you know, being in Oregon has to be waterproof. Then the sound, uh, the music box came in from Nichols Electronics. And installed that with 32 different songs. And then the graphics. The graphics uh, took about a day to finish. But boy, they look fantastic. And we started putting on the polka dots all over the van. And then it was time to go wait in line to get our COVID shot. You know, right in the middle of a pandemic. That was important. And then we started on the interior. Sort of put up that grate that I can hang the baskets from. Put all the snacks and all those goodies in there. Give something to, to look at. Well, it came out pretty good. And then it was time for the air conditioner. Cutting a hole, or maybe not the air conditioner, but the exhaust fan, that's right. Cut the hole for the exhaust fan. And that was a pretty easy installation. The Max Air Fan works like a dream. Had some stickers made. And of course, had to stop by Autzen Stadium to get an awesome picture. And then uh, the Battleborn battery came in, so I built a little frame for it. This is the lithium battery that powers the LED lights and the Max Air fan. It's a lithium ion 100 amp hour battery made by Battleborn. Best you can buy. And it works out really well. Not that I'm going to use it at night, but the lights work great. Ever wonder what an ice cream truck looks like in a snowstorm? So I had some stickers made to pay it forward so the community can help me out with some of the kids that always ask for free ice cream. And then I started on the receiver hitch carrier for the 
haunted generator that we use to power the air conditioner on those really hot days. I welded it all up, threw some paint on it, threw it on the van. Man, it looked good. And it fit just perfect. Uh, still works today. And I made some sold out magnets for when we sell out, which happens all the time. Then we cut a hole in the roof for the air conditioner. There's my son. And the air conditioner is all installed and works like a dream. Here's some interior shots of it. And basically the ice cream truck is finished and ready to work. So there you go. A uh, year in the life of building an ice cream truck. And thanks again for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks to everybody who's watched all our videos. And if you haven't, share this video with someone you might know that might be building their own. And uh, thanks again for everything. We'll see you next week.